Hello, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, and here we are in a Premiere Elements project. Quite often, it's to your advantage to work on your project in smaller pieces rather than in large chunks. You can try to do a whole 60-minute movie in one big chunk with all the special effects and titles, and you can probably do it, but it's going to bog down the computer a little bit, and I often prefer, especially when I've got a complicated effect like the one you see right here that has got several layers of audio and video that I often find it simpler to create the segment as a separate project, output it in an optimized format, and then drop the finished piece into my final mix of a movie. So what is the ideal format for outputting a short segment so that you can use it in your new project? Well, in this case, I'm working in 1920 by 1080 AVCHD, which is kind of the standard for current video right now, especially consumer video. To output this segment, I simply go to Export and Share. And here on the Export and Share panel, I'm going to select Devices, Computer. And here is 1920 by 1080. This is the format and the resolution I'm editing in right now. And it's the same format and resolution I'm going to be working in in my master project. We only have the option of MP4, but that's exactly what we want here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just browse to my final mix folder and select it and we'll output our video here as an mp4 don't worry that it's not an m2t or an mts or any of those other file formats you typically see when working with avchd an mp4 is essentially the same thing so essentially in fact that it's going to work perfectly in our standard m2t avchd project if none of that makes sense don't worry about it it will when i demonstrate Okay, we're done. Now I'm going to open up my main video. So this is a longer project set up for AVCHD video. We'll go to Project Assets, just find a blank space and double click on it. And then browse to the video that we output. There it is, JSON MP4. Just a shortcut for adding media on your hard drive. And we'll drag this to the end of my movie. And if this format matches perfectly, which it does, you notice we do not have any orange or green lines above it on the timeline. So now this short segment that we output from a separate project just drops in perfectly into our AVCHD video and we can continue. So you can work on a longer video in short pieces as long as you output it as a 1920 by 1080 MP4. You'll find lots of tips and tutorials like this available at moviepix.com and you'll find step-by-step -step instructions for doing all of this stuff in our moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements which is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti and I hope to see you at moviepix.